Mm. And you know, this 2017, 2018 Bourbon County Stout, amazing. Mm -hmm. Good beers. You want some? No, all right. You don't want some Bourbon County Stout. I love Bourbon County Stout. In fact, I'm sipping on one right now. What? 2019 what? Bourbon County Stout. Where'd you get that? Don't you worry about that. Give me some. Mm -mm. Where did you get that? I have people. I have your people call my people. <sighs> All right, everybody, welcome back to 21090. I am Andy, this is Todd, and it is the most wonderful time oh, yes, of the year. Every Black Friday, the crowd stand in line to get their hands on the latest release from Goose Island's Bourbon County Stout Series. And this year, no different, a bunch of variants coming at you, but they have something also really special this year that they have not done before. Todd, tell us a little bit about what we're looking yeah, at. Yeah, so for the first time ever, Goose Island is putting out what they call a vertical collection of Bourbon County Stout. Really amazing. It's going to give you the 17, 18, and this year's version of Bourbon County Stout all in one box. Really amazing. A great way to see how this beer has changed over the last three years. So I've loved the 17, made that no secret. You love the 18. Yep. We're going to line all of them up, start here, go there, and end with what you've all been waiting for, the brand new release of the 2019 BCS. So they're lined up, ready to go, the 17, 18, and 19. We're going to start with the 17. Your favorite. This is my favorite. Let's uh, take a little look at this. Let's see if it still holds, though. And Again, it's your bur classic bourbon county stout. We don't have to say that. Oh, the smell still smells too, you amazing. Know? You've got, oh, gosh. Those, the those dark fruits. Yep, dark of, dark fruits. A little bit of chocolate. Chocolate. Overtone, some roasty notes. Bourbon's coming through. That sweet yeah. with bourbon. Oh. Almost it's, like a sweet candy too. Like yeah. a, it really smells nice. I don't it's, know if it smells uh, better, but it smells nice. Let's, let's give it a little sip. Cheers, everyone. Seventeen bourbon county style. Mm. Wow, it's a beautiful beer. That is so good. And you it's mentioned in our beer. in our previous how well balanced this is. Yeah, it is. I mean, you it's, get it's, it's the dark chocolate notes. You get the bourbon, of course. You get the roasty notes. That coffee. It, it's everything together perfectly. You remember the 2016 was really bourbon forward. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And when we compared that with the 17, we mm. just loved how this was just so balanced. And it hasn't, it doesn't disappoint. It's it's remained very similar to, I feel like that first sip, which is really nice. Yeah. This never stopped being a balanced beer. Not at all. Which, which I all. love. Yeah, so, so I mean, 14.7% beer. Which is, which is ironic because the new 2019 is also 14.7%. I mean, it's just a great beer. You, you're getting every, all mm. those things. It's it's balanced so well. I adore this beer. It has maybe even gotten a little bit better with another yeah, year of age. I think so too. Which I think is it's actually gotten a little bit better. So again, the cool thing about this vertical collection is you get to see what 17 tastes like now. Beautiful. Yep. Another reason to grab that collection because mm. mm -hmm. if you haven't tried this, you're going to want to get your hands on this beautiful beer. It's a pretty pretty darn good, Andy. Can't all complain right. with that. So the 17 was a winner, but I know last year you really liked that 18. Did. Before we even start, what was it that kind of put that one notch above the 17 for you? Yeah, so comparing it to the 17 again, I thought the 18 had those bourbon notes a little bit more forward than, say, the, the uh, 17. Um, and I really like that yeah. in, in the 18. Now, I'm interested to see after a year, has that changed any? Has some of the oxidation come in and maybe brought out more of the dark fruits? Mm -hmm. We'll see. That's the good thing yeah. about this vertical is it's aged for a year. Let's see how it's changed. Well, let's see. The oh, color. Beautiful. You're going to see similar yep. throughout. Mm, very you smell very reminiscent of that 2017. Not too yeah, big of a not difference. Not too a difference. So I almost this, feel like it's a little tamer than last year. It might be. It could very well be. So again, there's dark fruits could be coming out, but the it's certainly a ple uh, amazing. It's yeah. the classic Bourbon County smell, similar to, to 17. Cheers. 2018. Mm. 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 It's it's a different taste though. It is. It's and oh, see, I still like that. I'm actually enjoying this more this, this year is, than I think I did yeah, last year. This is really good. Um, I get more also more of a almost a licorice yeah sort of mm -hmm. uh, flavor to it. The mouthfeel on this also I think is a little bit more creamy. 
um, or thicker than, say, the 17. I don't know why that would be. Last year, I swore up and down the viscosity was higher on, on the, the 17. Yeah, it's changed. You can see that. I almost feel like this year I might give that nod to the 18, to be honest with you. It's a little bit, you got a little more chewy notes. So that makes there. me wonder, is the age for Bourbon County Stout the sweet spot one year, maybe? I don't know. We're going to find out. Because yeah. last year, it wasn't. Last year, you liked it right out of the gate. I know, right? So but we'll have to yeah, see. Yeah, this, again, but, to me, is it tastes different. But I, I think it, you get some of those dark fruits that are coming through more yeah. than the bourbon. Two really, really good offerings. So this was aged in Heaven Hill barrels, yep. uh, four-year-old Heaven yep. Hill barrels. Mm. Um, so Just lays in your it tongue. Just really. That, sort of the, the tobacco, sort of that, that mm. tobacco, that leather, oak. Um, dark fruits, chocolate, really good. The bourbon, of course, is there. I actually think it's settled down a little bit from it last has. year. And I think that's why I like it. I like it, too. More this year, I think, is a little bit more balanced. Mm. I still might love my 17 I don't just know. a touch. But this is this is I a still... lot closer this year than I think it was last year. I'll Agreed. tell you that much. Agreed. Really good. It's changed. That's yeah. the cool thing about this vertical collection. So there was one more bottle in my vertical collection. Mm, yeah. I think that's what everybody's waiting for. All right. So let's hit that 2019 BCS. I can't wait. So the 2019 is here. Man. I know you are excited oh, about this. We're all excited. This. Absolutely. 17 and 18 were great, but yep. I have a feeling this is going to be really good too. Yep. This has been aged in three different barrels. Heaven Hills, Buffalo Trace, and Wild Turkey. I mean, come on. All really good bourbon. Yeah. And Maybe. then they've got two different uh, ABVs. ABVs on yep. this. They've got the 14.7, which we have here, which is cool because it matches up with the other two. Yep. And then they've got a 15.2, a little bit bigger. Yep. I'd love to get our hands on yeah, that. Yeah, a little well. vertical on that. See if there's any difference. Yeah. But but um, we're the here notes for that. from from Goose Island say this is one that is going to be chock full of flavors. It's going to age well, but it's also going to pop now. So I think let's get into it. I think everybody's waiting this. for it. Yeah. So here is the 2019 Bourbon County Stout. It's what everybody waits for every year. To me, still is the king of all bourbon barrel aged beers. I'll say it every video we do for them. Ooh, it's the Bourbon yeah. County Stout, but. Now let me say this: the nose isn't quite as pronounced pronounced as yep, eighteen. Grab this eighteen. The eighteen is all chocolate right now. Yeah. I'm getting a lot of those nuts coming through. Oh yeah, the eighteen is definitely um, the seventeen. The seventeen. A little bit more chocolate too, so you can see the aging yeah. process has brought out more well, of. It doesn't always the do other. that. Sometimes you know, it subdues, which is getting me excited it's about there. what's. It smells oh, yeah. good. It's, it's Bourbon County Stout, but it's certainly not, I think it's more bourbon-y. It, it, it makes sense. It's right out of the barrels. I think that's... And I, I almost say I'm not getting quite as much bourbon on well, those here. Well, what I'm saying is you're not getting the other, you're getting chocolate notes out of that. To me, I'm not getting the chocolate. I'm not getting roasty. I'm getting... You get a little more of that caramel. Caramel, bit, bit maybe of the of, tobacco oaky, but I'm getting yeah. more of the bourbon too. I mean, bourbon forward, no doubt about it. It smells like bourbon County Stout. Well, I, just, I can't Cheers. wait. Let's, let's taste this puppy. Chewy. Yeah. Mm. Wow. So I think I'm getting some of the chocolate notes in the taste though. I'm getting some like almost like leathery tobacco. Yeah. A little bit of um, slight undertones of vanilla. Vanilla. Oh, vanilla on, on the finish is big time. Um, yep. It's a lot going on. There's a lot going on, but I'll tell you, it's oh. a little bit, in my opinion. It's softer than the other two. And I, I didn't think I would say that about the 17. I Yeah, I get what you're saying with that. I think oftentimes mm. barrel-aged beers right out mm. of the gates can be really kind of, they'll smack you in the face with something. That's crazy. This is actually really pretty balanced for... Right out, right fresh. Out yeah. I, I agree with that. Um, it's warming. Mm -hmm. um, you're getting those vanilla notes. You're getting mm -hmm. the chocolate notes, that sort of dark chocolate. Almost like a leathery tobacco. I assume that's from the oak wood, the, the, the three different barrels you're going in there. Um, a lot going on there. The bourbon's there as well, it's, but it's blended really, really amazing. I mean, for 14.7, again, look with all these. Um, when you taste this, you're going to know it's Bourbon County Stout. It's, it's, it's pretty darn good. It is good. It, I mean, it's amazingly good. It does not... It doesn't have the viscosity of the 18, um, and I, I think... Not yet, though, still, but I Well, think, I don't know if that's going to... I will say, I think I, I think stand by my original. I think that um, mm. this is a little softer. This is it a, is. This is a softer but I think in than a what I'm used to. But I think in a good way, though. I think oh, it's, that's it's, great. It's very tasty. The interesting it's thing would be, beer. how will this be in a year, too? 
I'd aging be, I'd be this, how say. that all those other flavors yeah. will come through because we're getting the chocolate mm-hmm. now. We're getting sort of the, the oakiness, the vanilla, the heavy vanilla you know, in that and too. And some of these like this toffee, that burnt yeah. kind of sugary Sugar, taste. Yep. yep. Uh, if I'm a, mm. if, uh, being a bourbon guy, that that's kind of like got the buffalo trace. Wild mm. turkey, those are heavily charred barrels. Mm. Um, so that's that fa- might it's be delicious. Yeah. I mean, if you love bourbon county stout, you're gonna love 2019. There's a reason why you're gonna stand out line and go for this. Um, Agreed. This is a really good offer. It's interesting. Doesn't see, disappoint. That's why this vertical collection is so yeah. cool. It, it shows you how this beer has changed over time, and and, and that's a good thing. The Absolutely. beers change in flavor. So get some of this. Drink it now. Mm-hmm. Save it for next year, the next year, and see how this beer changes. We do that all the Agreed. time, right? Agreed. This is awesome, though. Yeah. Good stuff. So amazing. We did this last year. We'll do it again. We're gonna rate this out of five geese. geese. Goose. Oh yeah. Goose eye, whatever you want to call it. Um, yeah. Todd, I'll let you. What do you say out of five? So for 2019, I think I'm gonna go with a four five geese goose. goose I think that's right. right there. I mean, it's it's what I expected from Bourbon County Stout. I'm super excited to try the variants this year, yeah, and we have some of those coming. Yeah. Um, so. Just hold tight. We'll be be uploading them soon because um, that'll give you the truth. We'll do a cer- certainly a full vertical mm-hmm. on that. But uh, it's 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 if you love Bourbon County Stout, you'll love it this. I'm gonna go with a four five. And I think I'm gonna go you know, four two five on this. Really, this is really it's it's solid. I love it. Um, let me let me throw something else out to you. Yeah. If we had to rank these three, which you prefer right now, drinking this right vertical, now, what would it be? I would probably reverse order back up 17, 18, 19. Right now is what I would say would be my preferred. Mm. I think I would go, I still love the 18 the best. I think I then would go 19. I still, I'm still, it's good. I just, I think I would go 18, 19, and then 17. So we're not completely on the same page there, Andy. So what else is new? It's okay. But Either way. Hey. Uh, you tell us what you think. Yes. If you've tried the vertical collection, if you've had the 18 and the 17 um, before, and you want to comment on that, if you if you think the 19 is the standout of the lot, let us know. Uh, start the conversation because you know yep. it's start below. it's very subjective. Get in line for this, but you won't be disappointed. Worth the wait. Totally. Uh, so stand in line and grab, grab yourself a couple. One. And if if you can get the vertical collection, yeah, actually, it's it's worth it because totally it's really cool it. to kind of line them up and see what. Each flavor. Uh, and we have a, a pretty interesting vertical collection of BCS coming of our own very soon. Very soon. Right? So stay tuned for that. So I think this has been awesome. And uh, I think another uh, stellar year for Goose Island. No doubt about um, it. It's pretty kind of I can't wait to try the rest that's on the <laughs> yeah, way. But it. until then, if you like what you see from 21090, please hit that subscribe button and click that little bell at the corner. It's going to let you know every time we got a new video. We've got Instagram, Twitter. We're going to put this guy up oh, on tap, let yeah. you know our collective rating. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. And much more to come in this awesome, wonderful barrel aged beer month. We got a lot is more to come. It's the most it's, wonderful time. We're still, we're still doing it for a beer. That's right. <laughs> I agree. I'll cheers to that. Cheers, everybody. All right. Mm. Wow.